Hi, my name is Devdat Patnaik. Today we will go on a journey to discover the history of mythology. In today's episode, we will focus on Durga Mahishasur Mardini. Today, if you see the image of Durga on a poster art, it is typically her riding a lion with multiple arms fighting Mahisha, the buffalo demon. But when did this image first appear? Durga Stuti is found in the Vedas, where there is a chant to Durga. But when we read the hymn carefully, we realize it is not describing the goddess. It is talking about power and strength at a very conceptual level. In Harappan seals, which are over 4000 years ago, we see a goddess or god linked to tigers. And you see images of buffalo which is being sacrificed. They are not together, they are on separate seals and we wonder whether this represents an old tribal practice of sacrificing the buffalo to the goddess, which may have inspired the image of Mahishasur Mardini. But very clearly, the image of a lion riding goddess comes to India from the northwest, from the Gandhara region, which is Afghanistan today, the goddess Nana. Now, did she inspire Indian traditions? Did Indian traditions inspire this goddess? Is up to speculation. But we know that in the Kushan period, we find images of a multi-armed goddess fighting a buffalo. And in Mammalapuram, this image explodes where the goddess is riding a lion and leading an army against Mahishasur who has an army of his own, a very military, royal, regal image, which is patronized by kings. In the Jain tradition, we find the goddess Ambika riding a lion, but she's also associated with children, which is why even today, when we talk of Durga, we talk of her as a goddess, as well as a mother. And in Kaligat paintings, she appears with her two daughters, Lakshmi and Saraswati, and her two sons, Ganesha and Kartikeya. And in Durga Pandals today, we find this mother goddess, who is also a warrior goddess, appearing and is now part of our everyday traditions. Her image has a history of nearly 2,000 years and that's fascinating.